This was the scene earlier this summer in Peabody when heavy rains hit. Today, crews spent the day working to re prevent, rather, a repeat of this flooding. WBZ's Tiffany Chan was with those crews. She joins us now live in Peabody. And Tiffany, they had to bring in the heavy equipment for this job. Lisa Emerson Avenue here in Peabody is one of those neighborhoods just notorious for flooding. That's why neighbors really want to get ahead of the downpours by bringing out their hoses and their pumps, trying to keep their basements as dry as possible tonight. I'm annoyed with the rain and the humidity. Cheryl Broughton has every reason to feel that way. We spoke with her just two weeks ago when torrential rain flooded out her Peabody basement, turning her backyard into a pond. Now, with another five plus inches of rain on the way. I'm thinking, I don't know what I can do, really. I mean, I've moved anything that's of any value. As the floodwaters move in, it's been tough for hardware stores like Robinson's in Framingham to keep up. What is in demand right now? Anything to do with water. We um, certainly have sold more water pumps this year than normal. Step one. Generators. We had a big deal with generators when Henri was coming. Public works crews in Peabody are also preparing for the potential of flash flooding. Bringing out the Vactor trucks to clear out the city's storm drains ahead of the downpours. Broughton and her husband are hoping their yard doesn't look like this in the morning. I actually made him a bet. I bet him. I said, I, I think it will happen again. And just about every home along Emerson Ave have these hoses out. Neighbors tell me it's the combination of having so many ponds nearby, them being overflown because we've gotten so much rain this summer. The city says there's only so much they can do to prevent flooding. From Peabody, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.